Hi, I'm Zach Kesson and welcome to the Beam Channel. On today's video, I wanted to talk about how you can use releases in Erlang and Elixir to deploy your code. But first, if you'd like help getting your team up to speed on Elixir or Erlang, or you'd like a training class with me, please get in touch with, via the, with me via the Calendly link down in the description below. If you're building applications in Erlang and Elixir, you will sooner or later want to set up those applications to run in production. This should not be an afterthought. The Beam has a great feature called a release that makes this really easy. A few years ago, building a release was a major pain in the neck as you had to do it all by hand. Thankfully, both Rebar 3 and Mix have made this much easier in the last few years by automating the process. A release consists of everything your application needs to start up. This includes the Beam file files, configuration, applications priv directory, and even the Erlang runtime. To build a release in Elixir, add the distillery to the dependency section of your mix file. Then get your depths. You want to run mix release init, which will create some config files. You should edit those as needed, and then, and then do mix release. This will compile everything in Paul on all the modules you need to start it up. It will then package everything in a tar file. By default on Elixir, this will end up in build, underscore build, prod, application name, releases, the version number, app name.tar.gz. Now normally when you deploy for production, you may not want to include the source files, your .ex files, or in our line, your .erl files. Similarly, if you're using release for testing, you may, not, you may wish to include them, but not the runtime. In addition, if you're doing testing, you can have the source files be symlinks instead of copies of the originals, which is really nice. When I want to run a release on a server, the deployment can be as simple as copying the tar file from your build machine to the server or servers, untarring it and running the start script. That's it. As the system grows, you may wish to add things like Kubernetes, but for simple systems, a simple SCP copy can and does work quite well. I often just put it in a make file. To run a release, untar the file on the target system and look in the bin directory. You will find a binary with the name of your application in it. So run my app start and it'll start in the background. That's it. If you want it to start in the foreground, you can run my app console and there are Options for more or less the complete range of things you might want to do, including attaching console to a running system, checking if it's running, stopping the system, restarting it, all those good things. Also, when a release starts, it is a bit different from when you start IEX or the Erlang REPL. In that case, the runtime won't load modules until it needs to. In a release, there's a file which tells the runtime exactly what files to load. So you, this can make for a really nice orderly startup. There are a few, however, a few warnings I should give you when building a release. First, it will only include the, mo the applications it thinks it needs. So if you have an application that is not required, say in extra applications, it will not include those modules. I generally find that I need to try the release script a few times before I get it exactly right. In addition, you should build your release on the same OS and architecture you intend to deploy your code on. So for example, like me, your main workstation is a Mac, but you want to deploy your code on Ubuntu, don't try to build your release on a Mac. Use a virtual machine. I will use the same exact OS release. So if you want to deploy on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS on Intel, build on that. You can find full details on all the options and defaults in the document documentation page for Rebar 3 and Distillery. So you can go there and get all the details. I'm not going to bother to list them to you. It's not particularly useful. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share this video. I also love hearing from folks who love your suggestions. If you, and if, finally, if you'd like help getting your team up to speed with Erlang or Elixir, please hit the Calendly link in the comments and we'll set up a time to talk. 